And so they're saying that Mia, and Mia is kind of like racially ambiguous. I think she's like Mexican and black. I know her mom's black. I think her dad is, I don't know. She looks Hispanic to me, but she got into a Wendy behind Peter Thomas, who is Cynthia Bailey's ex-husband. And they were down in Florida. Words were exchanged. Mia got really pissed off. She like threw a glass or a drink at Wendy. Um, Wendy then went off on her. They went back and forth. And so basically people are saying that it's very interesting how the cast is acting towards Mia. Like when Mia popped off, all of a sudden, you know, the blue eyed bandits, <laughs> Giselle and uh, who's the other one? Robin. Um, they're not scared. But when Monique was popping off on Candace, because remember, Monique beat the shit out of Candace. And I, Monique is my girl. Candace is annoying as hell. She's a little chihuahua. Monique did what she had to do. Okay. But when Monique beat the brakes off of Candace, Remember the, the blue eyed bandit, uh, which one is that? The one that was married to Pastor Jamal Bryant. What is her name? Robin and I'll be forgetting these people's names, child. She wanted hired security. She was walking all around with Giselle. That's her name, Giselle. Thank you. She was walking around with top flight security. I got to have security around me. I don't feel safe. Monique keeps popping off. You know, they're acting like they're from, you know, Baltimore and not Potomac. It was all this energy for, you know, Monique was seen as like, you know, like she was acting hood and all this. And Monique is not hood by any means. Monique just got tired of Candace constantly just nye, 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 like a chihuahua. You know, sometimes, you know, them little dogs that just bark, you just got to kick them. Get your ass away. You know what I'm saying? Like, shut up with all that fucking chirping and shit. Not going to bite anybody. Just run to the fence every time I walk by. Just chirping and, and, and burking out loud and stuff like you're a damn Rottweiler. Shut your ass up, okay? I'm sorry, this little dog that used to just always harass me when I used to walk past the fence. I swear the damn dog was racist. But yeah, the dog reminds me of Candace, just little and loud for no reason. I can walk past a big old dog, won't pay me no mind. Walk past a little dog, the loudest thing on the damn block. So Monique, you know, did what she felt she had to do. I'm not saying I agree with violence, but I kind of saw where Monique was coming from, right? But yeah, everybody needed protection from Monique. Everybody needed security. You know, nobody was willing to give grace to the black woman. And so eventually Monique left the show. She's like, fuck this, I don't need this show. And so from what I'm hearing, the Green Eye Bandits are for some reason, that there's no security behind them now. Now that Mia done got up and threw a glass and, you know, tried to put hands on Wendy and all this other stuff, it's just like, oh, you know, Mia did what she had to do. Well, damn, didn't Monique do what she had to do against Candace? So a lot of people call out the colorism. And then also it's like, you know, once Wendy popped off, she was wrong. But with Mia, it's like Mia's getting praised and people are clapping for her. And, you know, I'm glad you went off. And, you know, I'm not the biggest Wendy fan. I'm not a big fan of any of these people, to be honest with you. My show is Real Housewives of Atlanta. But, you know, y'all got me watching Potomac. So, you know, I watch for the Kiki. But, um, you know, I do find that very strange that everybody needed protection when it was a fight between the two black girls. But now that, you know, Mia done popped off, it's, you know, nobody needs protection and everybody's standing with Mia. Mia did what she had to do. Uh, yeah, you know, colorism is real. And, it, you know, and it's sad. And yeah, Mia's very messy. She's very messy. Um, like, like I said, they're, they're just all messy. And this is a very old cast. You know, with the exception of who's the, the, the little mixed one with the white husband who goes every which way. I forget her name, too, with the two babies, Dean's mama. I know Dean the Bean, her baby. Ashley, Ashley Durberry. With the exception of her, like, Karen, like, a lot, like, these people are damn near in their 50s acting like this. It doesn't make any sense. I don't think Wendy's that old. But, you know, like, Karen and um, Giselle, they're, they're a lot older. 
And you know, I just don't understand. Mia looks a lot older. I don't know how old Mia is. She definitely looks a lot older. Wasn't it Darby? I said Derby. <laughs> Ashley Darby. Yeah, you know, I just, I don't know. I just, I'm just, they're all just messy. And then my thing is, weren't they just sitting here? Wasn't Giselle messing with Mia anyways about the whole cancer scare? They were acting like, you know, what well, she really didn't have it. She's looking for attention. So, you know, her and Robin, they just go whichever the wind blows. And I also, you know, let me, hold on, let me go on a rant real quick. And I also don't like how Giselle tried to make it look like, you know, the Chihuahua, Candace's husband, was trying to sexually harass her or, you know, trying to insinuate something nefarious. I don't like shit like that. I don't know, man. Giselle be on some weird shit. And I, I get Candace for going off. Like, I, I, was, I was with Candace on that one. You're not going to do that. You're not going to make it look like my husband done did something to you, done put hands on you. Like, Giselle be trying to stir up shit that can get people in real trouble. That can get folks, you know, me too out here, even though they're innocent. So I didn't, I didn't like that. I, I think that's probably why I had stopped watching for a few weeks, because she kind of annoyed me with that. Yeah, just really messy. Now, Robin, I will give Robin her props for when she was talking to Wendy's uh, and, and them about it. And then she also had, no, no, she, she don't fool Wendy, excuse me. She was talking to her husband and she was talking to Candace about it. And she was saying that she didn't agree with how, you know, Giselle went about her moves, that it was disrespectful. You know, Giselle's trying to make a mountain, a mohill, a mountain, right? A mohill out of a mountain. She's trying to like turn a little situation into something bigger than it is. And I don't respect that. So, yeah, this this is a bunch of old crazy ladies on a show that we all watch. <laughs> They're all a mess. But, yeah, I do find that very interesting that, you know, all of a sudden now nobody is scared of Mia. You know, Mia's not a thug, but Monique was a big old thug. You know, they had to have security with Monique. And then Monique, you know, they had her like just she had to go into counseling and keep apologizing and then Candace tried to press charges and the judge threw it out. It was a mess. It was a mess. I do like Karen. Karen has grown on me. Karen is funny. She's grown on me. Yeah, there's, there's definitely, you know, like I said, colorism is big in every aspect of life, you know, on reality television, um, you know, in the real world. It's definitely a, a thing. Oh, they kept calling Wendy ghetto. Oh, interesting. So Wendy's ghetto, but Mia's not ghetto. Mia's as ratchet as they come. I'm sorry. She got money and she married well, but she she she's ratchet. She's she's hood. She's just as hood. Yeah, I just I don't I don't get it. Somebody said Monique is a real one. I would have did the same thing. Yeah, I just think Monique got pushed to the edge. You know, like I said, I'm not condoning uh, violence. But Candace just, she's just one of them people. She just stirs shit. She's gotten better, though, ever since she got an ass. Well, see, sometimes, like, this is how we were raised. I'm sorry, I'm a child from the 90s. Sometimes you got to whoop that one bully's ass to get them to calm the fuck down and to get everybody else to stop fucking with you. That's how we were raised in the 90s. And you notice ever since she got that royal ass whooping from Monique, oh, Candace has comped the hell down. Because I couldn't stand Candace. Now I can watch her and not be as annoyed. I used to call her tissue box. So I think, you know, I think Monique putting hands on her helped. Because it's like, everybody's not going to deal with your shit. Reality television or not, you're not going to keep messing with me and keep messing with me. I'm eventually going to have to drag you across this floor. And she's calmed down a lot. Now she'd be like, oh, I don't want to look like the messy black girl, even in her confessionals. She's gotten real, you know, oh, you know, let me think before I just talk and spew bullshit. She's calmed down a lot. Thank you, Monique. <laughs> Thank you, Monique, because I can, I, can now, I can now stomach Candace. But for a while, I couldn't stand her. She just got on my nerves. But this season, she's been okay. I think that ass whooping helped. Oh, well. <laughs> if you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show.
Please see the show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.